At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son and daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and the one who receives a righteous person because he is a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water because he is a disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. When Jesus had finished instructing his twelve disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Yesterday and as well as today, the Gospel reading gives us the instructions that Jesus gave to his disciples. Yesterday, you have heard how the Lord was sending his disciples two by two to go and to proclaim the gospel. Today, we get some more instruction from the Lord and He is very, very clear to His disciples. And He says, if anyone wants to follow me, he must deny himself, take up his cross and follow him. Following Christ is not just a blind adherence to his teachings. It is not a slavish imitation of Christ. It is fulfilling his commandments and following his instructions. His instructions demand that we place a complete trust in him. Total surrender of ourselves. In no way he tells the disciples not to love one's father, mother, brother, sisters and the rest in the family. All that the reading implies is instruction implies is that we give top priority to God. Let us pause for a while and ask ourselves, is God number one priority in my life? As follower of Christ, what are my priorities? Is God everything for me? It's a challenge. It's a challenge to follow Him. Besides, Jesus also was fully aware that anyone who followed him will be rejected, will be marginalized, and he will endure pain and suffering. Jesus, who persevered till the end, who died for us on the cross, tells us you to remain persevering in your sufferings for my sake, for the gospel's sake, 
and to go on. Personally speaking, I know it is not an easy task. At the same time, it is not impossible. The only way that we can carry the cross every day and follow him is to rely on him completely and totally. And that's where a prayer life comes. Once before I said, prayer is many things to many people. For me, personally speaking, again, prayer is our dependence on God. Lord, you are my everything. You are the only one in my life. Help me. Help me to carry my cross. At times it's very hard, Lord. Things don't go well. People don't really understand me. They do reject me. They do marginalize me. They do sideline me. Lord, help me to be completely focused on you. For only in you there is plentiful redemption. Amen.